What's up everyone? My name is Tatiana, your favorite surgical tech. And today I want to get into something that tends to cause a little bit of confusion within the field of surgical technology when you're trying to get in. Now, if you paid attention to the title of the video, I'll be covering the differences between a certification, a diploma, and a degree. These are three terms that people kind of commingle and get confused. Knowing the differences between the three will definitely uh, help mold or shape the way that you're looking for prospective schools. So to just start this off, let me just go through the definition of each of these words. So, diploma. Now this is straight from the dictionary, y'all, okay? A diploma is a document awarded by an educational institution testifying the recipient has graduated by successfully completing their courses of study. A certification. A certification is the action or process of providing someone or something with an official document attesting to a status or level of achievement. Now, a degree is an academic rank conferred by a college or university after completion of a course of study. Let me first start by saying you will be attending a school that either offers a diploma program or an associate's degree. Now the difference between the two is usually the length of time that you're enrolled in the program as well as some additional courses that may be needed for an associate's degree. Now let's start with the diploma programs. That will essentially give you the basis. It'll give you the bare minimum of what you need in order to be successful in the field. At least it's supposed to. If you go to a school that offers just a diploma, you'll still have to take courses that will mold you to be a successful surgical tech. So you're still gonna have pharmacology, microbiology, medical terminology, anatomy and physiology. Those are all courses that you need no matter what program you're in. The associate's degree program is going to have some extra courses that maybe are not necessary to be a successful surgical tech. For an example, an English class. When you're talking certification, you have to actually sit and test. In order to qualify to even sit for certification, you have to go through the education basis of a diploma program or an associate's degree program. You cannot sit to get certified as a surgical technologist unless you went through the educational portion. The biggest thing I hear is people interchanging diploma and certification. If a school is telling you that you're going to a certification program, I immediately think that they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Just my point of view, don't come for me. Now there are two certifications that you can sit for. That is the CST, which is ran by NBSTSA and AST as well as the TS-C, which is through the NCCT. Both of those are certification exams where you have to sit at a computer for X amount of hours, answer a certain amount of questions, and pass. These certification exams are testing your knowledge to see if you would be successful to be a surgical tech in the field. That's what the certifications are for. Certifications are not programs. Certifications are basically the piece of paper saying that you tested all the information that is necessary to be a, cert a, a successful surgical tech and you pass. The diploma and the degree programs are just the education basis of it. You have to attend a diploma or degree program in order to sit to take the certification. So for example, I attended a school that offered a 15 month program. It was a diploma program. I went through a and medical terminology, uh, pharmacology, microbiology, we studied directly from the AST surgical technologist book. I, I learned all of that as well as going through my clinicals. And once I passed all of my courses, as well as passing and completing my uh, clinical externship, then I graduated and received my diploma. Very similar to receiving a high school diploma, just the program is shorter, more concise on the information. It doesn't force you to get extra credits that do not necessarily pertain to surgical technology. I had coworkers that went through a degree program that yes, they learned, they took the same exact courses as I did, but they also took additional math classes and English classes and maybe some additional science classes as well. But both of us went to school, received information that aligned with the requirements of the NBSTSA certification exam that allowed us to sit and get certified. That's the basis of it all. For me, when people say that they're going to a certificate program, I cringe. 
I just know that the the terms are used interchangeably and sometimes it's a little confusing because if you say you're going to a certification program I, I'm gonna ask my questions I'm just gonna ask my questions I hope I cleared that up especially for those people that's trying to get into the field and it's it's very hard to navigate and find information um, over the last couple of years the field has boomed um, as far as looking for more techs to get into the field the medical field in general there needs to be more staff right there's always going to be sick people unfortunately and even if you're not people are going to need surgery you know people break their bones people don't eat well um shoot just life and age so the medical field is always 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 looking for new people to enter into the field and surgical technology is just another one of those uh, specialties i hope this helps for anyone's journey of trying to find a school education and try to figure out just the, the basics before they start. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. You can also go onto my Instagram or TikTok, especially my Instagram. I try to respond to as many DMs as possible, but when it comes to comments on posts, um, even if I don't get back to you, the community that's on my Instagram page definitely helps each other as well. So if I don't get back to you, someone with the experience is bound to give you their perspective as well if you like this video please comment and subscribe i'm getting back on this platform because it's just so much that i want to share and it's not easy to find some information and although there is google you know the world wide web some information is just difficult to come across if you like the content subscribe to my channel planning on being way more active on here until next time peace